fathoms or more below, boys. Oh, boys, oh, boys, oh. It's 40 fathoms or more below, boys. Hey. Bearing all in the stunts up. Way high. Stunts up with a will. Why, look, it's the bastard son of the late William Kidd. Still a mere boy, and yet ten times the demon his father was. Fancy seeing you here, can we? Still looking sleek and mean. Did you steal that costume from a dandy in Havana? No, sir. I found this on a corpse. One that was walking about and talking shite to my face only moments before. Huh. So, what's this I hear about a planned raid on a plantation? Not keeping secrets from me, are you? Not very well. Every day, schooners packed with sugar sail past, coming from plantations nearby. Most times, they stop here, sell off a few crates. There's one man visiting today that had earned you a fine profit. So if you'd like to rob his plantation, I'll point him out. I would. Is it a Mr. Beckford that owns this plantation? That's the man. He owns dozens round these islands. And he's bloody rich. Just the sort I like to see robbed. His agent is around here somewhere. Find and follow him. And he'll lead you straight to your prize. We 
trade at prices Mr. Beckwood knows are fair, and with a quality he knows is sound. Ah, it's his hearty molasses and raw cane, that's a given. It gladdens me to hear your saying so. Despite the waywardness of your enterprise here, I understand that you are men of discernment. I take well your behavior, and at least I hope... So close friend. So roll me in your arms, love, and blow the candles out. My father, I, and that the shade of the sea, to be like a quadruple alliance. So why not you and I, a hardy woman and lover, without a fear or doubt? So roll me you in your arms, much, love, sir. and blow the candles out. I pray thee speak more softly. Should make a pleasure rue. The streets they are so nice, love the people walk about. They may peep in and spy love, so blow the candles out. And if we prove successful, Burford, Manning, to me, we've done with this place. I sir, what's our course? We'll return to the plantation and then. Of our inventory. It was a good harvest this year. You may not talk so loud, sir. This is a friendly for Ken. Nonsense, man. I had a delightful conversation with a chap just now. We came to quite an understanding. As you see, sir. All up and done, well, boys. We're going home. You have the look of a man crafting a bold idea. The look I've seen before. You mark well, Ade. I've just overheard one of the Beckford's men talking grandly about his plantation and all the cargo he's keeping there. And it gave me... I might take these goods off him and sell them off for a better price than he'd ever ask. <laughs> ah, a man of vision. I like this idea. Loose all! Party like! Careful, Captain! His waters are closely watched by our enemies! Hold at it. There's trouble of fall. I see them! This man's working for Peter Beckford's people. Do you know them? The Beckfords and their sugar empire. Aye. The Beckfords and the Draxes. I never worked their plantation, but I knew their names from hearing other men curse them. But you worked a plantation, no? A modest one, aye. As a striker in the boiling house. Boiling house? Was it water they boiled? Or something else? Cane juices. It's a hard process making sugar. Dangerous, too. Must be why it fetches such a dear price. What's it like? Toiling on a plantation day and night. Well, with the cane sugar cut and harvested, it's run between two metal rollers, crushed the juice from the plant. 
After collecting the juice, it was time to boil away the waters from the sugar. This we did in patches made of copper. Let me tell you, brother, boiling sugar is near the hottest thing on earth. Just a touch on the skin will stick like wood lime and burn on, leaving a terrible scar. Jesus. It's a risk to anchor too close. The soldiers roving the plantation would catch us for sure. Drop here then and sneak ashore. We'll look after the jackdaw. here why such disarray bit of a do sir that's all it's wilmington's birthday and you saw fit to get pickled on duty it's no bother sir we've everything sorted we'll soon see won't we for you must double the watch this evening double sir whatever for i believe i was followed here by pirates, if my eyes are me, though the ship was uncommonly large for such rascals. Certainly wasn't slavers, though, not a ship that size. In any case, double the watch, and keep your damned eyes wide for anything suspicious. You up there! Look alive, man! You've a job to do! Apologies, sir. I'll keep my eyes peeled. What the hell is going on here today? How do you suppose you'll be able to ring that alarm if you're pissed drunk and barely able to stand? Forgive me, sir. I am fit and able. If I see any strangeness about, you'll hear the bell ringing straight away, I promise. to the warehouse. Which of you dogs has the key to the warehouse, huh? The key, goddammit! Someone find me the key! To hell with her. Oh! Alarm! Rouse yourself! Over here. Fetch me the warehouse key, if you please. I need some help here! Now you work. Ten feet. We all want to get to our point. Now 
found your work. Not a word. Rumors of pirate activity on the roof. Send my sights. Oh, let's have a word. I just have to pull the trigger. You can curse me later. Now you work. Let's have a word. 